coats, 9100 coming back at you. It's still win it's Wednesday night now. It's 8 11 8 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'm almost done. I've got I've got all the spark plugs in, all the new spark plugs in, all the new spark plug wires. I've got take this fucking key out. Take that out, sounds better. Anyways, I've got all the new spark plugs in tight. I've got all the new spark plug wires on. I've got the new distributor cap on. I've got the new rotor in there. Um, it came out pretty decent. Uh, I, I haven't got the tire on yet, but I've I'm pretty much got it all done here. But I've got a few more things to button up. I put the hoses on and, and a few things. A few things I have to button up, this small stuff. Um, but anyways, this side was actually the easy side, right here. And they gave me, in that box of spark plug wires, one spark plug wire too short. I measured every one of them wires before I put them on, so I had to use one of the old wires. And the old wires were like brand new. There's the coil wire right there that goes to the coil. I probably should have put a new coil on it. It's never too late to do that. I don't have one with me, but I could, um, you know, um, put one on it another time down the road. I don't have one, so I wish I did. I would put one on it. Uh, but anyways, they gave me a, all the spark plug wires, but one of them was too short, so I just used the other one. One of the other ones. The other, the, the old wires were like new. I mean, when I was taking the old wires off, they've been replaced. They were in good shape. They weren't burnt. They weren't nothing. Um, so, anyways, it. Uh, I've got all this side wrapped up over here. Over here at Wally World. Things you can do in a Walmart parking lot, baby. Woo! Dollar Tree too. Um, so anyways, I gotta put the tire back on, of course. You could take the tire off to get the spark plug, two spark plugs out. Um, I got this tie here. This was a, a metal line. A metal line that goes down over into this vacuum system thing here. Right here. Falls up. Goes up this metal line. There's, I had to take these two out, which were a half inch. And I put some of that um, anti-seize around them. Because I might have to take them out again someday. Hopefully not, but got those. Those are back in. They're good and tight. I've got the brake line connected back up. This is the brake line here. I had to take uh, both of these out. These were nine. Uh, this one was half inch, and this one was uh, nine sixteenths, right here. I had to take this loose so I could get my arm up in there, all the way up in there today. Those two spark plugs, farthest to the. Uh, front of the van were, boy, they were a bitch. They were a bitch. I'm telling you, man, I worked, what, part, biggest part of the day getting those out and getting them back in. Uh, the wires weren't too bad, uh, but I had to take this bracket and put that back up there. That's good and tight. It goes to the brake line right there, of course. Um, so we got this tightened up. This is tightened up. Uh, we got to put the tire back on, and of course, We've got to put the doghouse back on, which is over here. This is the doghouse thing. I get that back in there. Um, uh, I won't make the gym tonight to get a shower. That's for sure. And there's the tire. I got to get that back on. Don't worry, guys. I put a jack stand under it. I got a jack stand right there, right underneath it. If the jack stand fill, if the jack stand fails, I got that just snug. That's a hydraulic jack. That's just snug, but this, it's actually sitting on the jack stand. So. Tire back on, doghouse, doghouse there, uh, back on, a tire back on. Some work taking the tires off, eight lugs, heavy duty ones. Um, and then I got, of course, the, uh, the air filter box here has got to be put back on. Uh, the air filter, the big hoses first. There's some big hoses, and they go in around to the air filter box. Hitch that back up, and um, 
and uh, air filter box and uh, we'll be good to go. Here's the new uh, distributor cap right there, wires um, down in there. See that damn that damn plug, that front plug is right underneath that. You can't see it. You got to feel it. You got to feel it. And you got to be very careful not to cross thread it. I got it. I got it in right, and um, it's right behind the alternator. And then the other one's kind of tricky too, but it ain't quite as bad as the one behind the alternator. Uh, but uh, well, see if the old bucket of bolts runs. Will the dinosaur start? Huh? Will the dinosaur start? Baby, what do you think? Will that 351 engine start, baby? Woo, you know it. Ford Tough 9000 mechanic here, coach 9000. How do you like that? Dinosaur is running, baby! Woo! You know it! Be midnight before we get out of here, though. This project is done! Ah, uh, good. I'm glad it's done. The only thing I didn't have was the coil. And there's the coil right there. It's easy to get at. I remember down the road sometime, I just get another coil, but there was nothing wrong with the coil. I mean, really nothing wrong with the wires. And where's these damn plugs? There's the old spark plugs right there. All of them. Every one of them. They don't look too bad. Uh, if you guys look at them. If I can get them around right. The old plugs right there. Gap's a little bit bigger on them, I can see that, but... They've been changed out before. See, they say... What do they say? This will focus. You can't see it because of the flash, but they say uh, maybe you can auto auto light. But uh, they all are. They've been changed out before. They're not the original plugs. They are not. I think the guy changed them out before I bought the van at the RV place had it done. Well, there's all eight of them right there, baby. Two. There's four. There's four. I'm gonna save the wires. I don't know about the spark plugs, but uh, and the distributor cap. Where's that distributor cap? Look at that. It's got some marks on it, don't it? The old distributor cap. There's the old rotor.
Voila! Alright guys. Check this thing off. Alright, talk to you later. I gotta finish up here. Peace out.